Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today the topic of our discussion is the role of pituitary gland in the menstrual cycle regulation. There are different hormones which are released from the pituitary glands, anterior pituitary glands and also posterior pituitary glands but the two of them are very important in regulating the uh, menstrual cycle. So let us discuss those two hormones. Okay, the pituitary gonadotrophins. FSH and LH are both glycoprotein hormones. Okay, that is their biochemistry, that they are glycoprotein in nature, and those are FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and luteinizing hormone, which are basically released from the pituitary glands and play a very important role in the regulation of the menstrual cycle. Now it's very important to know about its structure because it is the structure of this hormone because of which it has cross reactivity with the different other hormones as well these hormones share a common alpha units with other glycoprotein hormones such as thyroid stimulating hormone and human chorionic gonadotropin but each has a unique beta subunits. Okay, it means that the alpha subunits are same. Okay, we have mentioned two other hormones along with the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Those are TSH and HCG. HCG, as you know, is released from the placenta and TSH is released from the pituitary as FSH and LH are released from the pituitary and if we analyze its structure we come to know that the alpha units are same but the difference is in the beta subunit of all the three hormones all the four hormones all these hormones act on transmembrane G protein receptor that causes an increase in the cyclic adenosine monophosphatase so where does it act it acts on the g protein receptor which in turn increases camp you can see from this figure okay you can see that here at the level of the cell membrane at the specific target point any cell where these hormones act there is a specific protein which is called G protein okay so RCG, LH, DSH and FSH whatever type of these hormone is they act on the G protein which in turn causes activation of cyclic adenosine monophosphatase and that in turn causes activation of protein kinase which act on nucleus and it can cause the receptor it can work on receptor binding protein and activates the nucleases okay another very important point about this is there is a cross responsiveness of these hormones these receptors to various glycoprotein hormones okay these receptors um, have cross responsiveness to different glycoprotein hormones the gonadotropins are secreted from pituitary glands mainly in response to GnRH pulse from puberty onward. So mainly from puberty onward there is GnRH pulse which causes the release of these hormones and those in turn causes the regulation of the menstrual cycle. Okay, you can see that we have hypothalamus which releases GnRH hormone acting on pituitary. Okay, that GnRH at the time of, after the onset of the puberty is released in a pulsatile manner. That's why it is called GnRH pulse. That releases LH and FSH which work on gonades. And the GnRH receptors are membrane receptors which are down regulated by sustained exposure of gonadotrophin 
to GnRH. Okay, so whenever there is sustained release of gonadal trough means LH and FSH, there is down regulation of GnRH. The FSH hormone has half life of four hours and is under the influence of both GnRH and gonadal hormone. Therefore, its pulses are not accurately reflective of GnRH pulses. LH pulses with a short half-life are more accurate reflection of GnRH pulse. Okay, so which hormone is more accurate reflection? That is the LH pulse. The LH pulses are a frequency of every 60 to 90 minutes and a lower amplitude in the follicular phase of the ovarian cycle compared with the lower frequency and higher amplitude signal in the luteal phase. You can see from this picture, picture that LH pulse in the follicular phase is of low amplitude and of high amplitude in the luteal phase. Low amplitude in the follicular phase, high amplitude in the uh, luteal phase but the frequency is more in follicular phase and it's of low frequency in LH phase. Thanks.